Ladies and gentlemen, although he likely wasn't started by many fantasy owners, I'd like to have a moment of silence for our fallen pastronaut and honorary bust of the week, Josh Dobbs. His insanity run is finally over, but it will be remembered. At least until the next journeyman quarterback has some halfway decent games for a few weeks. Now please join me in this moment of silence as we remember Gen Z Ryan Fitzpatrick. Bust of the week. What are you doing? I just said this was a moment of silence. Well, you said he was bust of the week, but you weren't doing the thing. God, never mind. Justin ruined it, which I guess I shouldn't be surprised because that's kind of been your thing in Chargers games this year. How are you going to pin that on me? My defense... Your defense did what? Gave up more than 10 points because that's all you scored. Normally, I will defend you because your team has a lot more issues than just you, but not this week, Mr. Two Turnovers. But hey, you weren't alone in giving the ball to the other team. I know the holiday season is approaching, but I would recommend getting your opponents a different gift other than the football in the middle of a football game. I'm going to get them an air fryer. Or a Roomba. Go crazy. Brian Robinson, you got shot last year. I feel like people are already starting to forget how f crazy that is. But also, when you put up performances like you just did on Thanksgiving, it makes me feel like I got shot. So stop doing that. We've got some other Thanksgiving bums here. George Kittle. Been a few weeks since I've seen you here, but you're like a stray cat. You always find your way back to mediocrity. And DK Metcalf, with your big ass, I figured Thanksgiving would be right up your alley. Instead, you left your fantasy manager starving. I only eat raw protein and Skittles. Sounds like that might be your problem. Man, between the three of you, you remind me of a turducken. Why? Because when you watched us, you didn't really know what you were looking at? No, because I want to shove your lifeless carcasses inside one another and never think about you again. That's pretty dark. Yeah, coming from the guy that got shot, that should tell you something. Can we stop being so violent? Cooper, the sight of you only makes me feel more violent. What happened to you, man? You're a former triple crown receiver, arguably the best wideout in the game at one point. And now you make cracking 50 yards look more difficult than Adam Thielen trying to get out of bed. I am not that old. You don't even need a mouth guard because you have dentures. Well, when I get hit and my teeth pop out instead of a mouth guard, the other team gets pretty spooked. It's all mind games. You're senile. Who's Nile and why should I be seeing them? I'm done with you. James Conner, everyone was talking about what a massive fantasy value you were before the season. A workhorse back you could get in the middle rounds, to which I responded, your team sucks and you suck. So what are we talking about? Also, you have two first names, and I don't like that. And DeAndre Swift. You were already the NFL's least favorite Swift, and that was when you were putting up good numbers. Keep this up, and they might just give Taylor your job, too. I mean, I bet even she could rush for a buck twenty behind that line. Does that mean I get to be a pop star? No, you're not pretty enough. Uh-huh. 